Alice Systems, Propulsion. Go. Hydraulics. Go. Pneumatics. Go. Spacecraft Coordinator. Go. Starliner. Starliner is configured for terminal count. Roger. This is Atlas Mission Control. We're at T minus four minutes in holding. Final launch preps are underway as a ULA Atlas V rocket carrying Boeing Starliner capsule is fueled and readied for your mission to the International Space Station. SRB ignition enabled. Alice tanks to flight pressure. But first, you'll need to suit up at NASA's historic crew quarters. Customized for maximum protection, capability, and comfort, every Starliner astronaut will wear the sleek, innovative, and highly mobile Boeing blue suit during launch, ascent, and re-entry. Flexible and light, your suit has an array of features, including a bigger visor and touch-enabled gloves. You've arrived at Cape Canaveral Space Launch Complex 41, home of the Atlas V. Your ride is the latest generation of the same rocket that took John Glenn and other Mercury astronauts to space more than 50 years ago. Loaded with more than 625,000 pounds of fuel and equipped with two solid rocket boosters, the Atlas V rocket will produce about a million and a half pounds of thrust. With that kind of power, your Starliner capsule will separate from the Atlas V and be on its way to the space station in about 16 minutes. The Atlas V will fly a trajectory designed to minimize aerodynamic loads, but you'll still be feeling about three and a half Gs. You'll reach Mach 1, or the speed of sound, at 74 seconds, on your way to a speed of more than 17,000 miles per hour at Starliner separation. Welcome to the all-new Boeing Starliner, humanity's space taxi. While designed to be as lightweight as possible, the 20 engines and 28 thrusters of your autonomous spacecraft have enough power to reposition the space station into a higher orbit and avoid speeding space debris. Able to fly to and from the International Space Station up to 10 times with up to seven passengers or a mix of crew and cargo, the Starliner is the first U.S. capsule to return astronauts on land rather than in the ocean. Polling is about to begin. 32 members of the launch team will give their go for launch. You'll need to close your visor and prepare for liftoff. Listen for the Starliner call. That's you. Status check to proceed with terminal count. Atlas systems, propulsion. Go. Pneumatic. Go. LO2. Go. Starliner, execute visor configuration. Starliner, visor closed. All steps are complete prior to terminal count. Stable at step three. Rock report range status. Range green. Mission director. This is the mission director. You have permission to launch. Status check. Go Atlas. Go Centaur. Starliner is go for launch. Ready to take America back to space. Three, two, one. We have RD-180 ignition and we have liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket. Boosters record the MLP. Make sure our roll program has begun. SRB chamber pressures have plateau, looking for burnout momentarily. And the SRBs have burned out. And we have jettisoned the SRBs at this time. And we have BECO, engine shutdown looks good. We have retros and stage separation. GM2 purge fire into the RCS is underway. We have ignition and full thrust in the RL10. And we have spacecraft separation. In just a few minutes, you'll be docking with the International Space Station. From here, you'll be able to spend time looking back at our planet, our home, from almost 250 miles away. Only a few hundred people have been to space so far, but that number won't remain small for long. Thanks to the Starliner, space soon will become a destination for many, many more. Great to be here, Station. See you soon. Congratulations, you stuck the docking. Stay for a day, stay for a week, or stay for a few months. Your Starliner capsule will be here to take you home. For now, remember, the sky is not the limit. Mission complete.